Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Donruss Optic Football 20 box blaster case, random team break number six. One spot gets you two random teams. So it's just a 16 spot break, no vet commons ship. Big thanks to this group here. Let's double you up like Sir Mix a lot. And there's all the teams right there. This is 2020. So we're chasing those quarterbacks from 2020 among others. Let's roll it, randomize it. Full 12 times, six and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. We got Angel down to Martin. Martin with that one. In the 32 spot. Six and a six, 12 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12th and final time. After 12, we've got the Dolphins down to the Denver Broncos. All right, Angel with the Miami Dolphins, Tyler with the Bills, Connor with the Bengals, Tyler with the Eagles, Angel with the uh, Giants and the Cardinals, Levi with the Bears, Connor with the Saints, Angel with the Colts, Scott with the Steelers, Joe with the Titans, Mac with the Buccaneers, Connor with the Jets and Lions, Mark with the Panthers, Mac with the Rams, Connor with the Cowboys, Levi with the Vikings, Martin with the Chiefs, Connor with the Chargers and the Seahawks, Joe with the Texans, Connor with my Raiders, Scott with the Ravens, Angel with the Patriots and the Jaguars, Connor, Last Spot Mojo, Niners, Joe with the Washington football team, Connor with the Packers, Mark with the Falcons, Joe with the Browns, and Martin with the Broncos. Connor, your other Last Spot Mojo team, Jets. All right, so let's get all this on one screen. Let's alphabetize by column B. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then, uh, and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back. Well, a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals are done here on uh, Monday the 20th. Blaster case, Donner Optic Football Blaster case, break number six. Thanks, everybody, for once again for making this happen. I appreciate it. So actually, let's put that right there. There's the blaster case right here, Donner Optic 2020. For YouTube, random teams. All right, let's just get these boxes. You can see the boxes up in the top camera right there as well. So there's five, ten. 15 and 20. We'll open uh, five boxes at a time. Well, we'll do, do a quick little re week two recap while I'm opening up these boxes. Well, maybe look ahead to the to the next week, get some early thoughts on on who you think is going to win those games. First, uh, uh, the Thursday night game was really great. Last Thursday, it was uh, Giants at Washington, D.C. And Washington won by by a point, it was uh, 30 to 29. That was actually turned out to be a pretty good Thursday night game. But I think there was, uh, what, Tyler, Taylor, Taylor Heineke looked pretty solid. You know, did just enough, kept him in the game. Big kick by Dustin Hawkins. It was pretty huge. I think there was a was there a, an offsides, maybe a defensive penalty by the uh, by the Giants, I want to say, that gave the hop kick? Because Hopkins missed the first kick, I remember, and then he hit the second kick because of a defensive penalty by the Giants. So Giants could have could have walked away with a win. Didn't quite happen. Um, in the Andy Dalton revenge game that never was, because Andy Dalton, hopefully he's okay. I think he's going to be okay, but... but but the silver lining might be that the Justin Fields era may, may have begun. 
But the Bears beat the Bengals 20 to 17. Chad Daw was saying Burrow with three consecutive picks, but still almost came back to win. Yeah, I'm pretty high on Joe Burrow. I think he's gonna be, I think he's gonna be pretty good in spite of some of those errors. But I like that he keeps flinging it. Yeah, they still scored 14 points in the uh, fourth quarter. I think if they if they get him a decent offensive line. They've got the weapons. They got good running backs. They've got good pass catchers. But if they can improve that offensive, their their Bengals of course still a work in progress. But if they can improve that offensive line and improve their defense, you know that could be that could be a pretty fun team to watch week to week. Yeah, Max saying Fields wasn't stellar. That defense won that game. It did. Yeah, it kept the, kept the Bengals scoreless in the first half. Um, Texans looked like they were gonna they were going to upsetsville. You know they looked good in that first half, but the Browns ended up winning 31-21. I think the Texans might have still covered. I think they were plus twelve or something like that in some places, some books. But they they only lost by ten. But Browns definitely looked much better in the second half. Yeah, Tyrod Taylor got hurt in that game. Uh, Davis Mills got into the action. That could be interesting to see if uh, if Davis Mills continues. I don't know if they're going to actually put Deshaun Watson into action. Rams-Colts game was interesting. Rams edging out the Colts 27-24. to Three touchdowns, or two touchdowns to Cooper Cup. Another quarterback injury there. Um... Carson Wentz with a with look look looked like a bad ankle injury. So now Jacob Eason is it time? I don't know. Jacob Eason might get a start or two. Could be time to dust off those Jacob Easons. What would have to happen to get Watson on the field <laughs> to be cleared of all charges? I think for all those cases to disappear. I think that's where that's where we're at now. All right, first five boxes. There's Jalen Hurts, rated rookie, purple shock. Nice. Eagle. Oh, where's my list? There, there's the list once again. Just a quick reminder. Uh, and the Philadelphia Eagles, Tyler, or the Fly Eagles, Fly. Lost a close one. That was a weird game. Not a lot. I mean, they only. Scored three points in the first quarter, eight points in the fourth quarter. I don't know. Aren't they saying that what Watson is hurt? I don't think so. I think they're just straight up saying that he's inactive. There's Jerry Judy Hollow, Devin Duvernay rated rookie Purple Shock, Scott with the Ravens. I mean, they should have traded him in the summer. And there's a Tua, rated rookie, purple shock for Miami, on hell, with the Dolphins. Rough day for the Dolphins, too. Got shut out. Bills pitched to shut out. Got Chase Claypool, rated rookie, hollow. That's going to be for Scott and the Steelers. There's Jonathan Taylor for the Colts on hell. Antoine Winfield Jr. And we've got a Zach Moss rookie phenoms relic for the Bills. Buffalo! Tyler with the Bills. Can't he play if he wants? I don't it's not a player's choice to play whenever they if he wants to, it's the it's the coaching staff decision. Jeff, Justin Jefferson could pull, could want to play all he wants, but uh, but if the coaches say you're sitting today, you're inactive today. You're inactive. Nice uh, purple shock. I like the color match here for the Vikings. Levi, purple.
Purple Shock. This is exclusive to this particular set here with the Minnesota Vikings. There you go, Levi. There's Brandon Ayuk, who's having a little slow start to the season. But that's a hollow going to Connor and the Niners. Yeah, busted ribs for Tua. No, I thought it was a hip. Is it ribs? Ribs. Yeah, it looked like he was in pain. Let's see if he... Let's see if he'll... Uh, appear this weekend against my Raiders. Yeah, Bills pitched a shutout, 35-0 on the Dolphins. Bill Belichick did what Bill Belichick does to rookie quarterbacks. Um, they won 25 because they beat the Jets 25-6. to There's Henry Ruggs, my Raiders, beating the Steelers 26-17. to And Ruggs had a, caught a really nice touchdown from Derek Carr. Big play. Could be a breakout season for Henry Ruggs. That's going to go to my Raiders. Connor Beck has the Las Vegas Raiders. There's a, ooh, there's a nice card coming up. Here's a Chase Claypool. This is nice, too. Piece of his jersey. Rookie Phenom's jersey going to the Steelers. Scott Blackwell with the Steelers. And we got a purple shock. Justin Herbert. I was at that game yesterday, saw Dallas at SoFi playing the Chargers. It sounded more like I was at AT&T. There was like 70%, 60 to 70% of the fans there were, were Dallas Cowboys fans. Connor Beck with the Chargers, but valiant effort for Justin Herbert in that game. They fell short. All right, next five boxes coming up. So yeah, Niners beat the Eagles 17 to 11. That was a weird game. What happened? It was kind of kind of slow, a little sloppy, I guess. Not a lot of scoring. I guess both defenses looked pretty good. I don't know. It just seemed like a weird game. Uh, Raiders beat the Steelers 26 to 17. Raiders, obviously, my Raiders going 17 to 0, obviously. Panthers beat the Saints 26 to 7. I was actually on the Panthers in this game. I saw a funny stat where, where teams that that won by more than four touchdowns in week one, it doesn't happen very often, but if that happens in week one, they, they almost never win in week two. So Panthers had a decent game in week one. But I think they, they, looked, they looked pretty good in week two against a division rival. Broncos beat the Jaguars 23-13. Urban Meyer preaching patience. Trevor Lawrence is looking okay at times, and other times looks like a rookie. But I don't know it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time. Cardinals. I thought the Vikings had won this one. Vikings covered, but Cardinals beat edged out the Vikings 34 to 33. That was an exciting game. Kyler Murray another four touchdowns. Kyler Murray racking up touchdowns. Jeez. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate that. Uh, Buccaneers took care of the Falcons 48 to 25. Brady had a bunch of touchdowns, five touchdowns. He might, I mean, how many is he going to score four or five touchdowns a game with a 17 game season this year? Some records might be going down. Uh, Cowboys beat the Chargers on a late field goal 20 to 17. Titans beat the Seahawks in overtime 33 to 30. I'm always a little nervous when the Seahawks are favored by more than three points. They were minus, what, five, five and a half. They always seem to be, they always, I don't know, Seahawks are weird. <laughs> they scored 21 points in the second quarter, and then they only scored six points the rest of the way. I don't know, kind of an odd game. The Chiefs-Ravens game was real exciting. Chiefs at Ravens. I thought the Chiefs had this, but I watched to the end, and then there was the Clyde edwards Lair fumble. Ravens put up 12 unanswered points in the fourth quarter. Lamar Jackson with that flip into the end zone touchdown. I know the timeline's incorrect, but those are all the different things that happened. Not in not in that order. And then uh, and then a big a big like what third or fourth down call to get the first down to ice the game. Lamar Jackson running the ball, which was a real ballsy play. I think everyone saw the probably on Sports Center, NFL Network, where. 
where Harbaugh was like, hey, what do you want to do, Lamar? And then he goes, okay, basically. So that was a gutsy move by both players. Oh, yeah, I mean, no, Chief fans have nothing to worry about, Chief They have nothing to worry about. This is just the Ravens were at home. They don't really lose home openers. You know, they didn't. They lost to the Raiders in week one. And you know they were going to come out strong. It's a, it's a tough opponent. And then we saw the uh, – we, we, we watched that Monday night football game together. Packers won 35-17. Um, looks like looks like Packers are just fine. Although, although the uh, Lions look pretty good, they went into the half 17-14, but then a couple critical turnovers led to scores and just didn't work out. We got a Brandon Ike rookie phenoms relic. For the Niners, that's going to be for Connor Beck and the 49ers. Last spot mojo. No, it, yeah, it's it's not Mahomes' fault at all. I mean, if Clyde edwards helaire hold on, to, hold, doesn't fumble the ball and turns it over late in the game, I mean, they probably would have held on to uh, to get the dub on that game of inches. There's Michael Pittman Jr. Hollow for the Colts blue horseshoes on hell with the Colts. There's our base Brady right here. Maybe a parallels Mac. We can look for him. There's Chase Young, rated rookie for Joe and the Washington football team. Nice purple parallel there, purple shock. The rookies, Justin Jefferson. Yeah, I don't know, Mac, how if Murray, if Kyler Murray, because, sorry, Mac earlier was saying, Kyler Murray, so small, so good, so quick. I agree. You know, he's pretty... If, if he continues to be that elusive, there's Silver or Hollow in Donner's Optic. Hollow uh, Jordan Love for Connor could be, could be a starter next year. So if, if Kyler Murray can avoid those big hits and stay healthy, that guy, guy's, you know, could have been a baseball player. He has a cannon for an arm, runs really well. Lot to like about Kyler Murray, especially in that Cliff Kingsbury offense. Kind of a big season for them, I think. They got a lot of weapons. They got a solid defense. It's a tough NFC West, but they got to try to put some things together. Cam Akers for Mac and the Rams. CeeDee Lamb rated rookie. Is there another card behind? No. Purple Power, CeeDee Lamb for Connor and Dallas. Looks like he might have a... Nice season this year. DeAndre Swift had a pretty good game today, I thought. In a losing effort. Hollow, DeAndre Swift, Connor and the Lions. Brian Edwards rated rookie. Purple power. He's come up with some clutch catches too. He's, got, he's just got to stay healthy. He's a big target. And that's been his problem, staying healthy. Antonio Gandy Golden, rated rookie hollow for Joe. Jeff Okuda. Lamar Jackson hollow. Scott with the Ravens. He's a pretty exciting player. Lynn Bowden Jr., Tyler Johnson hollow, and Patrick Queen. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I don't think anyone's saying Clyde edwards helaire is a bad, a bad football player. No, he's really solid. It was just a, an unfortunate error for the youngster in a critical point of the game. I mean, what, he, what did he end up with? I mean, he still had, still rushed for 46 yards. He probably, you know, 13 carries. I don't know if running was really a big priority in this, in this football game, but a lot of passing. But, yeah, he'll be fine. All right, let's take a quick, uh, oh, we're ripping open these the next five boxes here. Let's take a quick look at next week. So week two, I, th I thought was pretty solid. 
the primetime games were really good. Uh, and you know, I think I think even the the non primetime games I thought were really good. So wherever you are in the country, you might have seen different games, but a lot of good times. Um, our Thursday game in a couple days. On Thursday, today's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, th in a few days. Panthers at Texans. Carolina road favorites at minus seven and a half. Hmm. I like the, uh, I kind of like the Texans here at plus seven and a half. Getting a little over a touchdown at home. You know, Texans did kind of hold their own against the Browns for a couple quarters or so. Browns are a much better team than the Panthers, I would think. Panthers might be a little overrated after that big win against the Saints, a division rival. Now it's a short week. On the road, it might be a little tough. Washington is on the road. They're going to Buffalo. Bills are minus nine. I don't know. I don't know if I might pass on that game, but I guess if I had to choose Buffalo minus nine, I don't know. I'll, I'll have my official picks in the break schedule that's pinned in the chat. And uh, pinned in the chat and uh, I'll frequently drop in the chat. Max says Buffalo on the over. By the way, week two, if you were, in case you're curious, I went into week two with a four and three record against the spread. And in week two, I went, I ended up picking a lot of games. Thursday night game, I won. I had the Giants plus three and a half. Then I picked nine games on uh, on Sunday. I usually don't pick that many games. But went six, uh, what, did I, what did I win? I only lost three of the nine. Went six and three. So I guess seven and three, including the Thursday night game. So I had a pretty good, pretty good week two. So seven and three, so that would be eleven and six. Eleven wins, six losses against the spread. For entertainment purposes only, of course. Um, but so Max taking Buffalo and the over. He's laying the laying the points. Nice. Oliver went three and zero. Oh, good. What's the biggest parlay I've ever won? I don't know. I don't do parlays often. That's kind of a... <laughs> that's sort of a sucker play. At least that's what they say in Vegas. Yeah, I tend to avoid the parlays. I like making straight picks. Um, what about Bears at Browns? Cleveland's minus seven and a half in Cleveland. Hmm. I don't know. It's a weird line. I feel like it's a very low total too. It's Bears Browns forty six and a half, and if forty six and a half, and if you're getting over a, a touchdown and a half from the Bears, that's that's a little spicy. If you kind of take the Bears. That could be interesting. I'll look at the rest of the games in a second here. Jalen Rager, rated rookie. Yeah, plus seven and a half for the Bears. I don't know why. Justin Jefferson Hollow, nice. Yeah, I, I, I would probably pass on that game. <laughs> but kind of leaning, leaning Bears plus seven and a half. Both starting QBs maybe out of that game? Yeah, I guess Fields will probably start. Is Baker in danger of not starting? Then I then that would that would make sense. That line. Yeah, maybe that's a stay away. Maybe there'll be other better games that we'll look at in a second. Chase Young, rated rookie hollow. And Antonio Gibson, purple power for Joe. And the Washington football team. Nice. Couple nice cards here. No line for Ravens Lions yet, I think, just because the Lions game just finished not too long ago.
There's Clyde Edward Delaire, Phenoms Relic for KC Martin with Kansas City. We're not at Broncos yet, Mark. Col Colts at Titans. Titans at home after a win against Seattle. Tennessee minus five. So Titans had a pretty good overtime win in Seattle. Now they're going back home. It's a divisional matchup. Colts really want to win, right? But they might have to go with Jacob Eason, which could be interesting. Ooh, nice Joe Burrow hollow for Cincinnati. Connor with the Bengals. We're not at the Bengals game yet, Oliver. We're at Colts Titans. It's minus five. I might, I mean, could be, could be Colts plus five. That could be interesting. What about Chargers at Chiefs? AFC West divisional matchup. Yeah, I might pass on that Colts Titans game. Chargers Chiefs, Chiefs minus six and a half. Chargers on the road going to Arrowhead. Alex, I'm a, uh, I'm cautiously optimistic about Sam Darnold. I think he might have just needed a change of scenery. Anyone interested in that Chargers Chiefs game? That might be a pass too, but might have to look at the there's there's trends that I might have to might have to look at. AFC West trends. Divisional matchups are interesting. I think you oftentimes probably lean dogs. Lean with the dogs on uh, on divisional matchups. Yeah, Gilo is a Chiefs guy and he's saying Keenan Allen owns the Chiefs. Be a good DFS play there too. Uh, okay, what about Saints Patriots? Saints at New England. Patriots minus three. They look great against Zach Wilson, right? Belichick always looks good against rookie quarterbacks and the Jets, divisional rival. Saints looked amazing week one, looked flat week two. Do they zigzag and bounce back in week three in Foxborough? Plus three, short road, Doc? No, Mac and Oliver saying Pats all the way? I'm going Saints here. Over under is 43. I like the Saints plus three in this. I think the public will be all over the Patriots. I think Saints bounce back. All oh, right, that coaching staff. I think like, oh yeah, well, they've got a lot of assistant coaches on the COVID protocol. So if they come back, I don't know. I, I, I still think it's spicy. I don't know. When, James Winston isn't Zach Wilson. He's a lot more experienced. He's pretty good, especially under Sean Payton. And I like taking points on 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 small total games. All right, this one's not exciting, but Falcons at New York Football Giants. Giants minus three. Giants have weird home road splits. I think I'm going with the uh, I'm going with the Falcons on this one. If I, if I I mean if I, if I even take, I'll probably pass on this game. But Falcons plus three if I had to pick. These are mostly these are early looks. Just if I had to pick kind of thing. I'm just talking it out for entertainment purposes only, for funsies. All right, uh, let's move on. Um, all right, Oliver, what about Bengals at Steelers? What was your pick? I think you I think you had mentioned something. Bengals at Steelers. 44 is the total. Bengals road dogs at plus four and a half. I think Oliver had a thought on that. Bengals, his Steelers hosting the Bengals. So Oliver says Bengals, Stone Cold Lock, straight up? Or with the points? Or both? Why? 
I feel like I feel like Oliver's just trying to use reverse psychology there. What's your what's your cap on that? No TJ, no Bush. Chad, Chad Doss says Bengals take it straight up. Big Ben's too old, but yeah, but Ben usually does it all right early in the season. But again, I think the defense missing a couple key pieces might let Joe Burrow do Joe Burrow things with T. Higgins and Jamar Chase. Cardinals at Jaguars. Cardinals are road favorites at minus seven and a half. I feel like Cardinals will roll in that game. That that's a kind of a big number on the road, but the total is 52 on that. But know, that might end up being a pass. Maybe lean Jaguars plus a touchdown and a half at home. Maybe they 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 may not win, but they might get that cover. 52 points. Home dog getting a little over a touchdown. 52 points. Arizona in the over over. There's Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert, back to back. So we got rated rookie Justin Herbert for the Chargers, Connor Beck. Base, and then Joe Burrow, the rookies insert for Cincinnati. Um, that is also for Connor, there you go, man. There's the Michael P. Ryan, piece of his jersey. All right, uh, Jets at Broncos. Is that any I thought? Mac, did you have a thought on this game? Jets at Broncos. Jets are plus 10.5. The total is 41. Jets plus 10.5. Road double-digit dogs. There's T. Higgins, who might have a nice season this year. In his second year, there's hollow Clyde edwards Lair for Martin and the Chiefs. I'm looking at ESPN, right? Take Jets to cover, double-digit dogs on the road. Yeah, the total is only 41, so so getting double-digit points with a low total, that might be a sharp play there. Uh, there's no line for Dolphins at Raiders, but I think I think Sunday night, I think I saw, or Monday night, or this morning maybe? I thought it was Raiders minus five or something like that. Maybe they're waiting for for what Tua, what's going to happen with Tua. Um, Buccaneers at Rams. Total is 54 and a half. The line, according to ESPN, is even. That should be a good game. Buccaneers at Rams. We'll definitely have it here on local TV. That might be... A, be a national game too, or more of a national game. It's got to be Tampa Bay, right? Max ain't TV. It's got to be TV and TV in LA. CD Lamb rated rookie hollow for Dallas. It's going to be for Connor. Yeah, Oliver also says Bucks Rams will get exposed. Yeah, they had a little difficulty, a little difficulty uh, in Indianapolis. I know they're on the road, but yeah, they still have to still have to work on some things. I think. I think Brady and the Bucks are just playing too too well right now. Too well. Yeah, I like. Yeah, Stafford definitely an upgrade from Jared Goff. That's for sure. But I think some they just have to get some things going. I think the Rams by the end of the season should be should be pretty strong. That NFC West is going to be a really exciting. There's poor Cam Akers. Will be a really exciting uh, matchup. Watching that division with guys like Kyler Murray in there. 
All right, last little bit. It's Keyshawn Vaughn, rated rookie hollow. Speaking of Stafford, there he is. There's LaMichael Pirine and C.J. Henderson at the end. And that's that, boys and girls. That was our 2020 Panini Donruss Optic Football Blaster break. That was random team break number six, where one spot gets you two teams. Here's a quick little parallel recap here. Some of the top quarterbacks and some other standout players here and some relics. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.